uh, today we are going to talk about angular frequency which is the most confused entity in physics and when we read SHM now just to give you a quick review uh, comp let's say we have a sine wave here all right uh, it has a time period t and uh, we know that uh, uh, when we project this as on circle the particle executing the SHM for example here is a particle position and this is the y axis x axis as you know everything now omega t all right and it is the phase omega t and here it projects okay all right the sine part and here we have the cos part and we have depicted here all right y and this is time so now uh, we know as by the formula that it is 2 pi f now we often fail to recognize its importance now i am going to use a unitary method to make that understood now we know that 2 pi is what it is 2 pi is actually the radians all right which is complete one circle that is a come one revolution you may say that is a circle a letter x rotates 360 degree then we have a 2 pi radian now we say what is a time period time period is actually the time for one cycle now uh, by, we know that uh, one cycle that is 2 pi is carrying the one cycle because it is carrying the one cycle here also we can see when it will particle will go from here then here and then here it will complete one cycle that is one cycle will be 2 pi according to this and here 2 pi uh, is one cycle that is in t re, in t time so all right and we know that uh, angular frequency is actually the rotation or revolutions per second now here we get a solution now when we know that in the time period t seconds all right the particle executes 2 pi radians now in one second it is a simple unitary method that is i'm using in one second 2 pi by t revolutions will be carried out that is in radians per second now this is the most important concept which we overlook but we get answer due to formula but it is very important to analyze the situation in this method that how we got 2 pi by t by the unitary method i hope that uh, it this video made uh, angular frequency topic much clear and so 2 by t equals to 2 by f that is 1 by t equals to f actually so uh, thanks for viewing this video goodbye